Hello everyone, my name is Leopold, and today we're going to be doing a very special series. And, uh, as you can see, it's going to be Lego Batman. So, today I am starting my r road to the Lego Batman movie, um, little mini-series. It's going to be like... It's either going to be three long episodes where I show off uh, something from each um, Batman game, Lego Batman game in the trilogy, or it's going to be nine episodes where I split that into three parts. So for each game, I'm going to be showing off something different, and this is the first game. Ah, that old DC logo, how I miss you so. Alright, so that was our little intro. This is Lego Batman the Video Game. This was released in 2008. It was a multi-platform game. Um... Oh, there's Robin. <laughs> He's always been, like, the humorous character in the Lego Batman franchise. Even in the Lego Batman movie, he gets a lot of really funny, um... Funny jokes. So, um... I would start a new file, but my cousin and I have played the hell out of this game and the second one. We haven't touched the third one as much. That's only because um, we haven't had that much time to play together. So, yeah. Anyways, we have... Uh, it's a pretty cool thing that they did with this game. But, um, basically, you have uh, 15 levels to choose from. Three different stories. Um, we have the Riddler's Revenge... We have Power Crazed Penguin, and we finally have The Joker's Return. Now, a lot of these stages are based off of the uh, original Tim Burton movie from 1989 with Michael Keaton as Batman. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, we also have other characters running around here like Nightwing and Batgirl. So yeah, that's really nice. And we have Alfred here. You can just beat him up. <laughs> but um, the thing that I want to show with this game is um, basically this was back when LEGO games had really small hub worlds and uh, they didn't talk. You might not realize it, but that was not too long ago. Um, I think... Actually, I'm going to get into it whenever I get to that game, but um, LEGO Batman 2 was a pioneer in LEGO games, which is why it's still my favorite of the... Uh, Lego Batman series and um, basically what it did was it um, it started the trend of open world Lego games and it started the trend of using voice acting in Lego games this game has no voice acting I'm sure that if it did they would use the actors that they um, chose to have in the second and third games but um, as it is, this game has no voice acting. It still relies on the silent humor of um, every LEGO game that came before it. So, um, basically, this game was made as a tie-in to the, at the time, current LEGO Batman uh, LEGO toys. So, um, you'll see Robin is in his classic outfit. Um, this came out the same year that The Dark Knight did, in 2008. So, um... Surprisingly enough, you don't really see um, anything having to do with that here. But, um, oh well. Basically, the main gimmick of this game is that you can switch your outfit from the default to something else in order to solve puzzles within the level. And um, that carries over in the second game, and I feel like they reached its peak in the third game. But um, we'll get to that when we get to that. 
Um, in the third game, I feel like it was best implemented. In the first game, you ha you basically literally have to find stuff in order to... Or, like, you have to find the pieces and build in order to, like... Well, in order to just, um... Like, in order to transform into the costume that you wanted. So, yeah, we're playing in free play mode of the first level. And, um, yeah. These graphics, I'm sorry, but, um, I've been so used to other stuff. And, um, you didn't really miss anything by me skipping that. It was just saying, hey, you're gonna go fight Clayface. This is a little background on him. Now, I like that about this game. I, they actually give you, um, background on the villains right before you start the level. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is that um, Batman in this game, he's wearing the same suit, or at least a suit that looks exactly like the one from uh, Arkham Asylum, which is a game that I've been playing a lot of recently, and um, I love it. It's so much fun. I'm just really not that good at it. Like, at all. <laughs> Um, if it's not the combat, it's the stealth and, um, the fact that I keep getting lost. I'm sure that I'll get even more lost whenever, uh, the new Zelda comes out because that's an actually open world game along with, um, well, Arkham City, which I'm going to be getting to next, but, um, yeah, and the next game that we're going to be getting to, again, is, uh, Lego Batman 2 and it's open world. So, um, I'm actually feeling a little out of my element because I've been so used to playing, um, games that have implemented the whole switching characters thing a lot better in, uh, the LEGO series. So, um, need to figure out... There we go. So now we're playing as Clayface. Um, if you didn't know, this is the guy that we were going to be fighting. So, um, in free play... Basically, what happens is you get to uh, pick whatever character you want, but then it um, picks the team for you. So, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, what you can do is you get to explore things a lot more than uh, you could before. So, like, I can use this suit to do this. I'm using the sensor bar to aim, by the way, and, um, so, yeah, each suit does something different for both Batman and Robin, and again, I feel like they did the suits the best in LEGO Batman 3, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, for now, it looks like I'm almost out of time, so, um, just as a test... I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording here in a minute, and we're going to go ahead and start over. Oh, crap. If you didn't know that voice that you might have, like, faintly heard, that was James Arnold Taylor as uh, Robin. And uh, you may not know who that is. Um, he is actually a really um, underrated um, actor, voice actor, I should say. And, um... Basically, um, yeah, he's an underrated voice actor. I'm sure you've heard him somewhere before. You just didn't realize it yet. Like, if you would check his YouTube channel, um, you would see that he's been in a lot of roles that um, he hasn't really gotten much notoriety for. And, um, you know... It's always sad to see that um, he doesn't get the credit he really deserves. But, you know, it happens. That's kind of the point of being an underrated actor, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we're back to being Batman now. And uh, about to show off the switching suits mechanic. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to go up there. I could just switch since I'm in uh, free play. And playing in free play makes the levels a lot more fun in some ways than they were before so like you can 
Sorry about that abrupt ending. Um, the recording cut out, so I had to start a new one. And, uh, yeah, so... Again, we're back with more of this. Oh, man, the memories. What the heck? This motherfucker switched to me instead of, like, somebody like Robin. So only certain characters are able to do certain abilities. Like... For example, only Batman and Robin or Batgirl and Nightwing can use the little grappling points. And, um, you know, if you're a different character, then you have to switch. And then we have this. This is the demolition suit, I believe. It allows you to lay a bomb. Actually up to, I believe, three. And you can detonate them whenever you wish. Ha ha ha. I killed him. That's funny. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, just fucking around in this level because I want to get this done. We still have a lot of level to go. At least I think we do. So I'm not gonna like spend too much time just uh, messing around. I just punched a rat, by the way. Those were rats. But anyways. Oh yeah, you can also pick people up. Man, this game's so much fun. I haven't played this in so long. Oh my lord. Like... It's just my nostalgia is uh, really riding right now. I think I got this game, like, I don't even know how long ago, but I remember I played it all night long that night, back when I still used my Wii before I got a Wii U. And, um, as a combo system, you can just do, like, times tens. Um, the combo system in later games is a lot better because um, you can get money from it. So, that's always nice. So, um, typically, you would have about 15 levels to go through in a LEGO game. And that's the same with this game. However, um, and they always do it differently every game. Like, for the LEGO Star Wars games, um, if they had... I think they bundled three in one. Um... You got five levels for every movie. If it was just one movie, then it, you would get 15 levels based on that one movie. And, um, sometimes you would also get... What is it? Um, 30 levels. That's what this game is. It has 30 levels to choose from. You can play 15 levels as the heroes and 15 levels as the bad guys and that's interchangeable too you can play as the heroes in the bad guy levels or you can play as the bad guys in the hero levels and that's always really fun uh, let's see here so this is a little puzzle we just gotta push those guys in activate those switches and let people come out here I guess and if you want to get out of that just press C We also get little cars, which are a lot more fun in the uh, second game. Trust me, I I know. I played the I played the second game to death. Me and my cousin, we have literally exhausted that game. Um, I actually have some funny stuff to tell whenever we get to that game too. Okay, um, I have no idea where to go. Oh, duh. I just realized what I was wearing, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. So I'm going to move that car. That didn't do anything at all. And there we go. We're at Clayface. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long this is technically going to be. But, um, yeah, I don't know how long the series is going to be. I'm going to try and do three videos in total. Um, after this recording, I'm going to check and make sure.
that um that I can make a long video out of this if so then that'd be great damn it and the blue one went out th there too so one thing that always pisses me off about Lego games is whenever the blue one goes out of range if you die because you lose some money if you die that's like your punishment for um dying that you lose money and um, sometimes it goes uh, to the point where you can't recover it and um, it really sucks so um, now we just need to get out of here die goodness where did the heart go oh well um, so we're down to the last couple hits and that's literally all we have to do is just hit all those and then boom that's Clayface done that was um that was the first level of the game I remember playing this I I'm pretty sure I was stuck on this for like a long time so yeah we're going back to the bat cave um, I feel like this was a really cool game for people back then it did well enough to spawn a trilogy that's for sure but um the reason why I say that it was a really cool game for people back then is because, you know, there wasn't really that many um, Batman games for a while, I don't think. As in, like, not movie licensed. And I'm just really making an assumption here. But, um, so it was nice to have Batman be represented in uh, the modern day with a Lego game. So, um, this is the little trophy room, or something. Um, basically, if you collect mini kits, you complete all of these items. Um, I have never actually bothered to 100% a LEGO game. As a matter of fact, I have a story to tell about that whenever we get to the next game. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, um, I've never actually done that. So yeah and I doubt I ever will because 100%ing these games is fucking bullshit they have they put way too much content into the these games like there's such a thing as having too little content like I'm recording this the same day as Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is going up which should be on a Tuesday because it's Tennis Tuesdays but um that game that game was like bare bones lacking a lot of content this game this game does not shirk on the content there's tons of playable characters, even though all you're going to be doing with them is just pressing A, and um, that's to jump, and then pressing B to attack. Like, that's all you do to attack is just spam B. It's not like Arkham, um, it's not like the Arkham series where there's actually like a rhythm to it. And you know, that's fine, because um, this is just a simple Lego game. And, um, I don't mean to, like, shorthand it, because LEGO games are still really damn fun, despite being kind of all together, just reskins, for the most part, um, with some differences, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, um, the basic thing that made this really cool for me is that, um, you can pull the switch here, and you can see what's going on in Arkham Asylum. So yeah, um, here it's a lot more violent. You can just whack people and they're probably going to whack you back. And um, this is where the game gets really um, long to 100% because in order to get 100% you have to do stuff like free play and, um, and the main story where you have to get hero, true hero or true villain, whatever it is. It always changes in... Um, every lego game but basically collect a fuck ton of studs and then uh, you'll get a reward for it so yeah um, the experiment room is basically just um, where you can make uh, your own characters it's custom characters so yeah lots of hours of fun spent with this game um, and lego games in general making custom characters so I am coming to the end of this recording, and I'm going to see you all in just a few seconds. Alright, we are back, and uh, we're going to go ahead and give um, more of a tour of 
Arkham Asylum. We aren't going to get to see much of this place until the second game, where we get to see, um, where we get to see more of the interior than here. So, this is the trophy room, where we, um, basically can accumulate mini kits to get these little models, just like in the Batcave. Um, again, I have not bothered to do that because I don't care. Like, at all. Um, 100%ing LEGO games is really difficult and really tedious. So, like, I've never bothered to do it in any LEGO game. So, um, lots of characters have different attributes. Like, some characters can double jump. Some characters have, uh, guns. Some characters have whips. Like Catwoman. She has a double jump. And she can whip. The Joker, he's really fun. <laughs> I love how they made him into a joke. Like, his uh, combat role that you can do by pressing A twice is um, it's literally just him falling on his back. And that's hilarious. And, um, oh boy, Mr. Freeze can freeze people. I forgot about that. See, this game is fun. Look at all this. Everybody's just fighting each other for no reason. I'm fighting myself. That's Joker right there but a different version. But anyways, I'm going to leave here. See what else we have to find. Because you can go over to the left and find some other shit. I don't know what this part of the asylum is supposed to be. This place is a really dark place. So the fact that they even let you play as the villains and explore this place is kind of nice. Okay. Okay, this is the mission room. This is basically the equivalent to the Batcave. So you have all the same chapters. The Riddler's Revenge, Power Craze Penguin, and uh, finally, you have the Joker's Return. Now, um, they're all based off of... They're all based off of the levels from the uh, Batman and Robin campaign. But now you're playing them differently with different characters every time. And it's not just Batman and Robin. Now, I think they implemented the whole um, suit switching mechanic so that it won't get boring to play as Batman and Robin every time. In the third game, um, they actually fixed that by having you play as different characters in every level, which I prefer. It's like the third game has some things that I prefer, but then the, the uh, second game... It's just so much more fun, in my opinion. So, like, I'm torn. I don't know which to like more. It's kind of like how, um, basically, if you ask me, this, uh, this game and, or rather, this series and the, and the Ar Arkham games, they're, um, they're kind of the same in some ways. Because not only are they about Batman, but, um, they all, like, the quality of them is basically the same like the first game's great the second game is even better but then you have the third game which isn't as good as the second one but is still a good game if you know what I'm saying but um, that's just me I have yet to play Arkham Knight I've yet to play Arkham City um, it's been a while since I played an open-world Batman game so yeah or at least like through the main story of one like, I haven't played through, um, Lego Batman 2 in a long time. Um, I just got Lego Batman 3 last year, so I can't say the same. But, um, anyways, this is the shop. You can access this for either character. And, uh, basically, it's where you purchase extras so that you can do different stuff. But you need to collect things in the levels. Um, the reason why the screen is shaking, if you can't hear over me talking, is because they're all fighting each other. And I have no idea why. Um, from the looks of it, we have all the characters except for two that are locked. I don't know what vehicles we haven't got yet. I think I have all of them. Again, me and my cousin played this game to death. We played this and the second game to death because for the longest time I didn't have a Wii U to play the third game. But now we have that, so, yeah. 
Um, I could enter a code to get certain things. I have no idea what. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go back to the Batcave, and I'm probably going to stop this soon, because um, I've already played through a level, and... Uh, I've already played through a level, and uh, I've already talked about the gimmicks with this. Um, which, again, were expanded in the third game. Um, if I had to pick which one is my least favorite of the trilogy, damn, I don't know. They're all so fun, but um, I guess I'd have to go with the third game. Because I love the game, it's just I haven't really played it as much. And um, it's kind of a step back in terms of um, some things. Like, they go back to this style where you only get a certain a certain like amount of space to roam around in um, unlike the second game where it was kind of open world even though it still gave you um basically it told you where to go next um, but we'll get into that whenever we get into that one I'm, I'm really excited to get in that one too because um, that one's such a good game like it has its issues but it's still really good and really fun so, um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this with the whole team here. That's really funny. Um, so, yeah, we got Batman, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing. Nightwing, where you going, bud? Oh, well. <laughs> there she goes, too. But, um, yeah. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na, Batman. Um, so, if you're really excited for the Lego Batman movie, um, hope y'all enjoyed this, um, and I'll see y'all with Lego Batman 2. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.